We're in Microsoft Windows 10 and we're going to use sticky keys. So first, in order to get there, we got to get to the Windows settings box. And you get there by going to the start button in the lower left hand corner and clicking on the settings option. So now that we're there, let's go ahead and choose ease of access and move over to where it says keyboard. All right, let's go ahead and see where it says sticky keys and turn that on. So what are sticky keys? Sticky keys allows us to hold down one key at a time, such as control alt delete. Now there are several people who may not be able to press control alt delete all at the same time because of some sort of impairment. So what sticky keys allows us to do is you can press the control, you can press the alt and you can press the delete key all separately. And it will then allow us to choose the uh, same thing as if we were doing it all at once. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to hold down. You can't see it, but I'm going to go ahead and hold down the control key, the alt and the delete. And look at that. It takes us right to our lock screen, which is exactly what we wanted to do. And there are a lot of other combination keys that people may not be able to do because of some impairment. So uh, we also see turn on sticky keys when shift is pressed five times. So if you're not able to find sticky keys or just not able to get there with the mouse, all you have to do is press the shift key five times. If you don't want that to happen, but you still want uh, sticky keys to be turned on, you can just go ahead and turn that feature off. We also have the option to lock the modifier key when pressed twice in a row. Now this will allow you to use any key such as the control, the alt, the windows key, that kind of thing. If you press it twice in a row, then it will go ahead and lock it as if you're holding that key down. So modifier key is not necessarily a letter or number key, but if you, but it could be used along with a control key or an alt key, that kind of thing. We can turn off sticky keys by releasing the modifier key in combination with another key. We can uh, have that turned on, so that way you can turn sticky keys on or off. We can also have it play a sound when uh, mod the modifier key is latched, locked, or released. So again, if we press the control key, then we will hear a sound when that thing, when that button is pressed. We can turn that off as well if we don't want it. And then we can display the sticky keys icon in the taskbar as well. And we can see that by clicking the up arrow, in my case, because I have so many things open, and we see sticky keys is there. If we decide we no longer want to have sticky keys on, we'll just go ahead and press off, and it goes off along with all other options. So that's how we use sticky keys in Microsoft Windows 10.